In this final video for the introduction to Genero Report Writer, we're going to look at what's called the Reports Demo. And it's the demonstration project that comes with your installation of Genero Studio. The Reports Demo is inside of a project workspace known as Reports.4PW. And inside of this project, you'll find that we have our BDL application files, we have our form definition file, a form definition file that provides an interface that allows you to select the different reports to run and also identify how you want those reports to be output. And it comes with a variety of report definition documents. These report definition documents give you examples that you can study and you can use when you're beginning to create your own report definitions. We have a list demo, order report, order stock, order labels, a variety of map and category charts, and we'll take a look at these as we continue on with this video. When you first open up Genero Studio after a new install, you're going to have a reports project listed. And if I click on that reports project, it's going to bring up my reports.4pw or my reports demo project workspace. This reports demo project workspace is organized by a variety of nodes. We have a node called applications, we have a node called database, and we have a node called install, installation and config. Uh, let me just start with the applications node, our applications uh, sub project. Inside of this, I have an order reports application, I have an order report ASCII application, and I have an XY chart application. The one that's going to probably interest you the most is this order reports application. If I extend this out, you'll notice that I have a design folder and I have a source folder. The source folder is giving us the 4GL report application that is used to actually execute the, the report and send the XML data stream across. We'll take a look at how you create one of these 4GL applications when we get into the module that deals with creating a report application. In addition, you'll see that we have a configuration.4fd. This is just a form designer, and it's a, it's a tool that we give you that allows you to select the different reports to see how they view and to select where they get viewed out to, whether it's to an image, to a PDF, or to the report viewer. In addition to having the, the source or the application that's creating our XML data stream, we also have a variety of report designs. Each one of these is a different report design, a different .4RP file that you would uh, can use. You can open them up and you can use to see how we've created the different demo reports that we're giving you. So you'd look at them as a, a, a file of samples. Look at them as a group of samples that you can examine if you're trying to figure out, well, I need to create my first map chart or I need to create my first list report. These will give you examples that you can use and examine and study to identify how you want to go about building your own reports. In addition to this order report design node, we also have an order report ASCII node. Now, when you, we talk about an ASCII report, you may have reports that you've already created, that you created before Report Writer came along, and you just want to display them using the Report Writer framework. This is an example of doing that. Instead of uh, displaying it using a form design or using a report design in Report Designer, this goes ahead and takes the report definition from the 4GL itself and just displays it using the report writer's report viewer or using the report writer framework. There's also a demo called an XY chart. So if you want to see how an XY chart is being built and displayed, you would go into that node. The database node is if you are using an Office Store database, this is our database definition. Uh, by default, our 4GL application is actually taking this data from a .unl file. So you can run these without having to worry about a database or without having to create a database on your own system. If you do want to create your own database on the system, that's where you would go into the install and config, and you would use this create office store application to create a demo database that would be used for the report writer. And if you do that, then you would have to go into the 4GL program and switch a flag that allows you to view things or allows the report application to not use the UNL file anymore, but instead to use the database. For now, I see no reason for you to actually have to go and uh, use a database, you can use the .unl file and still get the experience of writing your 4GL applications and get the experience of going out there and creating report designs. 
if you want to physically find the file itself inside of your GSD dirt slash samples slash reports, you'll find a reports.4pw file. And that 4pw file, again, is the project workspace that contains our reports demo. Inside of this, there's going to be the four programs. You can create the database if you want the report to run from a database. We have the order report, which demonstrates a lot of the GRW features. We have an order report ASCII, and this is going to take an ASCII report and output it to any of the available report viewer output methods. Uh, the report ASCII is if you're interested in just seeing how you can take your existing ASCII report and bring it into the report writer framework. And we have uh, charts as well that allow you to go out there and see how charts are viewed. Let me just take you through a very quick tour of how you're going to be able to go out there and use our reports demo to, shine, to see some examples of reports and to see some code that you can go and take and reuse or uh, learn from in order to create your own reports. The way we've set this up is we have a form out there, the configuration.4fd, that allows you to select these different report designs, these different .4rp files, and display one at a time. So if I uh, select the order report, and it's my default application, and I run it, it's going to bring up my configuration form. And in here, you can see a list of the reports that I can run. If I select one of these reports, um, I'm going to output it to SVG, so it's shown in our report viewer. And I click OK. We can see down in the output box that it was actually processing the report. And now I can see it actually brings it up inside of the report viewer itself. So that example, when I clicked on list report, it brings up a list report. Now what this list report is, or how, it, how it's formatted, I can find by just going and looking at my listdemo.4rp. If I select this, you'll see that I have my report demo. Actually, it's an order list. If I select my order list, you can see I have my GUI that identifies how the report is going to be laid out. This report is, has been done in Report Designer. And when I clicked on this to open it, you'll notice that it opened things such as Toolbox. It opened a tab called Data View. So these are the things that I would use to drop and drag if I wanted to build onto my report. We're not going to modify the demo reports right now, but I just wanted you to realize that when you click on a 4RP file, it brings up that 4RP file, and you have some new tabs that allow me to use this GUI interface to create and build my report. Now, unfortunately, just due to the limitations of trying to create a video for this online presentation, you'll see that my report is kind of cramped into the screen here. Now, I would expect that on your own desktops or your own laptops while you're working, that you would have expanded the Genero Studio so that you would have a much larger workable space on which you're going to be creating your own reports. Rather than walk through all of the reports right now, what I just wanted to point out was that you have the option to, to view these different reports. If I wanted to see one of the charts, I could have my map chart revenue by categories. If I go and I output that, I have a, that same data stream coming in. So it's the same 4GL file, but now it's uh, displaying it in a chart report, uh, giving you the revenue distribution by categories. Uh, let me go in and run one more. If I do, uh, let's just do uh, the order report. If I run the order report, it's going to go and run that order report, and it displays again in that report viewer because I chose SVG, and I can see how that looks like. And I could go and I could look at that uh, order report or list demo or whatever it is that I want to look at. And from this, I'm able to see how we develop that report inside of Report Designer. So as you start working and building your own reports, you may want to come and look at these different design documents to see how we've done it, examine how we've built what's known as the report structure, and we'll be getting into this in later videos, how a report structure is laid out. And you'll get a, a better idea when you're trying to create something similar to what we have up here in a demo, how you could piece it together, how you can structure it, what the different properties are that you're going to be setting for these different uh, nodes or these different objects that are inside of your report.
if you want to find out more information, the documentation, the gotchas, the tips and tricks, etc., there's a few places you can go. The first is to use the Genero Studio documentation. So if I click on my little uh, documentation button, it brings up my help window. And in my help window, you'll see that Genero Report Writer has its own folder. And inside, there's all the do documentation we have regarding the Genero Studio Report Writer. In addition, we have places on our website where we have more information about Genero Studio. So if I go to the support section of my website, of our 4J's website, uh, the first section I want to point out is we have this FAQ. And underneath this FAQ, there's a section related to Genero Report Writer. So you may want to look there to find out some frequently asked questions. In addition, we have a forum. And this forum has become an active part for people to discuss the type of things that they're trying to do. So I could go into my Genero Report Writer forum, and inside of the Genero Report Writer forum, I can see what other people are trying to do, what kind of tips and tricks have been given out there, what experiences people have had, and how they've worked around issues or how they've developed solutions to get the reports that they're trying to get. So again, you have three places that you can go to find out more information. You can go to the online help. You can go to the FAQ section of the report website, of the 4J's website, or you can go to the forum and look at the discussion topics that have been brought up concerning Genero Report Writer. This completes the first chapter we have of our training course, the introduction to Genero Report Writer. While I'm not actually able to, to take direct questions from you now, uh, this concludes this part of the video. And in the next section, we're going to be talking about uh, installing and licensing Genero Report Writer.